slight delay. My Devon development has gone a bit dark lately. But I'm back and I've got a new project to break in at this new place of mine. Uh, so I got this from Laser Cast Studios. Basically, it is a um, laser cutting uh, company down in Victoria, Australia. Um, they will make battle tokens, that kind of thing for you. But recently they've been, mar uh, and they'll also do two millimeter little army things. But they've recently been marketing these uh, two millimeter scale triremes, little boats. So I thought I'd order that and give it a go and put it together here. So let's open up this box and let's have a look at what these things look like. Okay, so let's have a look. Nicely packaged and some paper, appreciate that. And we've got ourselves a little invoice, lovely. A lovely message from uh, Tim. Thanks Tim for your boats, really appreciate that. Okay, so let's have a look at these things, shall we? So I only got uh, two sets of these little boats. They basically come on little plywood um, cards and uh, you get about five ships. I got the triremes as opposed to the later uh, Ameri American <laughs> Roman quadremes, a bit of a Freudian slip there. Um, they're a bit like the earlier triremes from sort of the Greek wars of the idea. So let's have a look. Oh, sustainable. Look at all that paper. I love it. I love a bit of paper as opposed to too much plastic. It's a hobby that's got enough plastic as it is, but it's nice to see a little bit of disposable, uh, a little bit of recyclable. So here they are, okay. So, it's got the lovely smell of uh, slightly ashen plywood. You gotta love that. But these are the light triremes. They are slightly thicker little cardy things and they will be stuck to get um, with the raw uh, ore banks here. Got our little prows on the front. We've got little dudes that we can be sticking on there. So the idea is that uh, it's all obviously laser cut, but then I can come through with a little knife and cut these dudes out and stick it together. So yeah, these are the light triremes. The idea of these little bumps are meant to be like their head sort of thing, I think. And over here we have the armored triremes where there's like a, a deck on the ship over top of these guys' little heads, keeping them safe. So that's the way they show between these light and heavy ones. Again, similar deal with the fact that these are um, prows, prows? Uh, and the tails of these things on the back. Oh, sterns, here we go, yeah, bow, stern, lovely. They smell quite nice. Mmm, plywood, burnt, lovely. And I'm now going to basically uh, put these together. So I'm gonna put them together first to have a look at what they look like um, all glued up and together. Um, I do intend to paint these things, but I'll talk more about that in a moment. But yes, I'm very excited to get my little boats. <laughs> So here they are. This is the little triremes all stuck together. And I'm quite happy with them to be perfectly honest. Um, so we have ourselves uh, the uh, heavy triremes, the armored triremes. So they're a bit bigger. They got the little two millimeter dude stuck on top. And we've got ourselves the smaller light triremes. Um, the idea being all these little dots of actual dudes sticking out the top. Um, they gave you two options for prows and for, uh, for the bows of the ship. So I could try to be a bit consistent with that, but it wasn't super. Um, really easy to do. I managed to get all these stuck together. So 10 of these little boats stuck together in just, you know, an hour or two, um, including stopping to do a bit of filming. So that was nice and easy to do. 
And uh, for some people, this is enough. They're nice little boats. You don't really need to necessarily paint them up or lacquer them up. Um, I think I think they work really well as like stylized, if you know what I mean. Like these, they very clearly represent triremes. They have their front, they have their back. Um, they work really well as is um, unpainted. However, I do intend to paint these guys up. Uh, so my next steps, well, well, firstly, one thing I will try to do, a bit of alteration, um, is I'm gonna get some matchsticks and make a bit of a mask just for two of these ships, two of the, the heavy ships. In uh, I've, I've had some ideas for a game. There are some games out there like, um, what is it, Poseidon Sea, something like that. And a few other um, games like uh, Trireme Commander, I believe it is. So there are some Trireme games out there, but you know, I've just had some of my own ideas of a type of game we could play. And I like the idea of having some sort of command vessel. And the way I think I'll denote that is just by giving two of the ships, the command vessels, uh, a mast and a sail, just so that, you know, a bit of variety, looks good. And yes, it's just a symbol that they're the command vessel. So I might give that a go, given some matchstick sails and some of these things. I saw some pictures of how the sails are set up. So, I mean, I might just go with the stereotypical square sail, but I might try something a bit different just to, I don't know, just cause it's fun to experiment and play around. But anyway, once I've done the, the masts, I'm then gonna give these things a base coat and then I'll give them a full paint, um, uh, full paint over. I'm gonna have two sides, more or less. Um, I am gonna do one group as Lacedaemonians and the other group as sort of Athenian, Attican type things, Hellenes. Um, so sort of uh, Peloponnesian war, but no, it, it, they're just gonna be ships, two sets of ships. But with the Lacedaemonian types, I will go the red color. Of course, you know, Spartans and red and all that sort of stuff. But I'm gonna steer away from um, blue for the Athenians. You see a lot of um, things represent the Spartans in red, the Athenians in blue. And that's because we have got record of red being a significant color to the Spartans, to the Lacedaemonians. Um, but there's, I, I, I don't know, just from my poking around, I haven't found anything that specifically says blue is a significant color for Athenians and for like Athena or anything like that. I think that's just a convention in like modern media to show that the Athenians all wear blue. You know, the sea is blue, they've got lots of ships. Um, blue is a good contrasting color to red, but I think that's really about it. Um, so I thought about, well, what other colors could we use? I was trying to maybe look at their, are there dyes that they liked? Are there, are there um, artwork that they, we have that shows the colors that they favor? And the most iconic artwork of, of not just Athens, but you know, Corinth as well, is of course um, the urns, the urns that they would make, the, the clay pots, the clay bowls, the, they're all very disposable, but nowadays we treat them with quite a lot of reverence because they're obviously very old, but also very beautiful objects with all sorts of myth involved. So I thought I would take inspirations from the Grecian urns. What I intend to do is for both sets of ships, paint them up in a very sort of wooden uh, brown, like a rich brown color, I think. The uh, Athenians, the, the Atticans have um, black, use black instead, you know, like, like they've, they've covered the front of their tar, their ship in tar on purpose to, for a bit of a look or something. It might be flammable, I don't know. But, but that's just that look of that mixture of, of uh, deep orangey brown and black. I think I like the sound of that. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll uh, base coat these things um, and then I'll get painting. So it should be fun. are the little tackers. I am pretty happy with these little boats. They look great. At least I think they look great. 
Um, as you can see, we painted up, like I said, with our two sides. We have our reds, we have our blacks and browns. It's kind of the look we went for. And I'm kind of happy with that. They can focus, let's see. Yep, so that sort of black and brown look for the Athenians. In the end, I quite like that. That looks pretty good in my book. And like I said, uh, fiddle around with some sails. So obviously we have the classic square sail. I've got to be honest with you, I think that looks pretty spectacular. I am very happy with how that went. Yep, the 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 mast is, is really chunky ultimately. But once you got that sort of silhouette, that sort of profile going with the, the beak of the ship and the square sail, oh, it's just gorgeous. I love that. And I'm happy enough. I, I, I thought I'd like it more than I did, but I do like this sort of um sort of uh i don't know what you call that that sort of galley style you might say oh isn't that a seven, 17th century galleon isn't that how they read up their sails yes it was it was you're correct but a i kind of like the look of this sail uh, and b look the only depictions we have of these things are from mosaics from the roman period and there's only a handful and they're not exactly vividly clear so i thought i'd take some liberties and you know, give us something a bit different for that sort of look. But I like it, I like it. Um, as you can see, we I really liked how the little heads in the light triremes came up. Just, you know, putting some different colored dots for, for their hair, a few little helmets in there is the idea. Uh, while on the, on the deck, the Spartans in their, you know, famous red and uh, bronze helmets. So yeah, I think that works pretty well. I've got this other side, I'm sort of calling them the Corinthian sort of thing. Um, I try to get some white on their outfits, it gets a bit splodgy on that, but you know, I think it does all right. The idea is they're not very uniform in their, in the clothes that they're wearing. That yellowy green is quite vivid. So it stands out a lot, not particularly authentic looking, but you'll make it stand out on the field. But then with the Athenians, I thought what we would do is we have a much more standardized uh, military. The idea is that they're all wearing like sort of helmets, um, you know, maybe maybe um, leafed in silver because they had their silver mines, you know, a little, little nod to that sort of aspect of their military. Um, and I did in the end go a little bit of blue on the outfits. Um, so, you know, in the end I had to go that classic uh, corny trope of the Athenians all wearing blue. But like I said, I am quite happy with how these look. They are pretty little things. I think uh, Lasercast has done a great job with them. Uh, any complaints putting them together? Oh, well, some of the some of the um, templates uh, were went totally cut through, but in the end they popped out pretty easily anyway. Um, sticking them together, the only bit of advice I'd give when you stick them together is I stuck them um, a little bit, I stuck the oars a little bit higher up and I'm okay with that. The oars stick up um, above the waterline a bit higher. You don't have to do that. If you want like a nice even look, you can just stick them right on the base. And especially for our light triremes, that gives you a little bit more space to paint the, the dudes underneath with, um, if that makes any sense. But regardless, it's, it's a pretty easy job to put together. It took me less than a week to get them all painted and sorted out. And they make a good showing for relatively cheap. So like I said, laser cast, um, they didn't pay me to say this at all. I, just, I bought these ships myself. I want to see what they're like. They are some local Aussies, so I thought I might as well help them out. Um, but I'm liking the look of these things. Uh, games, as I said, uh, I think it's Poseidon C. I think there's uh, Trireme Commander. But yes, sitting here painting for long periods of time, I can't help but think of some of my own rules that I might be able to sort of knock together. So maybe you'll see some videos in the future of me um, trying to think out or put together a game that you could be, could be played with these triremes and maybe a few play tests in the future. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, then of course subscribe. I'm gonna take some photos of these things. I'm gonna get some tissues to do some cheap and nasty water effects. Um, but yeah, if you like them, by all means, go out and purchase them. Um, otherwise, I hope you will see me again in the future. Goodbye.
Stern. Lovely. <laughs>